Hi everybody, my name is Oscar Kibet. Today um, I just unboxed what you call a Ryobi so a scroll saw. This is how the machine looks like. Now the advantage with this machine is that uh, it, it usually cuts uh, in a precision way as, com as, as compared to the bandsaw. One of the reasons why I purchase this machine is uh, we usually make rattan baskets and then um, First, before we start weaving the baskets, we usually have the, the bases done. Just like, as you can see, as this one. So this is what happens. We, we use the scroll saw to cut the, to cut the ply veneers. As you can see, it comes out with a very good uh, precision cut. Now, this Ryobi scroll saw has a... It has a motor that can run at 2500 up to 200 2500 rpm and then it has a this one is called um it's called uh it's it's a switch that it's a safety switch such that when you when you put it inside you're able you're able to put this the scroll so on or off so when it's off you just pull this it's called a safety switch and uh, you put it back so um i'm going to demonstrate to you how we how we use this uh, this machine and then again it also has an an adjustable arm you're able to adjust as you can see the purpose of this arm is uh, it prevents excess uh, vibration and then as you can see it also has a small pump here so this pump um, it usually blows away the excess dust that is on the table. The advantage also with the table is that it can it can also rotate. It has a, it can rotate even up to forty five degrees. But anyway, that's not what you need for now. So I want to have it stable there. Yeah. So we are going to begin. So this is just a rough piece of wood. So I want to draw a circle. I want to draw and cut a circle, so this is how we are going to do it. The advantage with this tool is that um, you can cut in even in very um, very complicated angles. So as you can see, so now here I'm going to adjust the. I'm going to adjust the stabilizer arm. So what, what you have to do, you have to make sure at least it plays evenly. So we begin. I always prefer with full speed on my end. So now we do. Clean cut. So 
what happens after this you can use the you can send it to the sander there are two ways of using it uh, you can either use um, normal hand way or um, I can take you back here or we, we can use we can use this uh, it's called a it's called a press drill um, we, we can also use what you call a sanding drum such that when you when you have it there you're able to do the the sanding so i think uh this comes at least to the end of our video so yeah so i'd like you guys yeah this comes to the end of our video so i'd like you guys to um to subscribe to our channel thanks so much